this is Hamin and welcome to another new video. So in this video, I want to chill and have a chat with you guys about what my life has been like lately. Since I became a self-employed as a freelance illustrator, my daily routine used to be pretty consistent like waking up, moving to the next room, eating, drawing, eating, drawing, eating, and drawing a little bit more, or editing videos, or creating content, and then going to sleep. So I ended up moving that much for most of the days during the week. As you guys think, this is not a healthy routine at all. So from a few weeks ago, I would try to, to build a more productive routine. It is still so easy to get back to the old routine if I'm not conscious of it too much. Especially when I try to be consistent and speedy to make art because I don't want to miss any potential opportunities that are coming to my life. I end up failing in a well-balanced life so easily. So as I said recently, I would try to change my routine and build some habits to stay healthier and to feel like I'm achieving goals. First habit, doing exercise or yoga is the first part of morning routine. I used to plan to do exercise at home or to go for a run as the last part of daily routine, but it actually happened uh, less than 10 times in my life for the past years in Australia. It is so difficult to control myself and to stop working the working progress at the right time. So instead of work out at later afternoon, I decided to go straight to jog as soon as I wake up in the morning. Thankfully, this way works well for me. This time, I was pretty consistent to go for a run in the morning, but a very unfortunate thing happened to me. I got a very big bloody blister on one of my toe. It is not from running. Originally, there was something like thick hard skin on the spot and I had been trying to remove that skin for about two weeks and I was really really glad that finally it came out on the last Friday on the next day we had a really really big walk so we stayed like more than 30,000 steps I think because my toes were still sensitive so that's why I got the big blister so I had to swap to do yoga instead of running so that I can still improve focus to be prepared for walk Since I tried to keep this habit, I like how my sleeping habit changed because I used to be awake every few hours because my back pain woke me up. Now it does not bother me as much as it used to be so I feel like I'm having a really really nice sleep lately. The second habit, eating oats. My skins are very dry and very sensitive so I used to think the main issue is probably from my skincare product or I used to focus on only acne product too much. About a month ago, I accidentally got to watch a video about the ways to remove acne naturally and I learned that skins can be improved by food. And eating oats is the most effective way for skin improvement. Oats has an ability to help with hydrating skins, reducing dead skin cells, and itchiness. So I think it is such an amazing food. I would try to have oatmeal or porridge for the first time in my life. And my first thought was honestly, it was not appetizing for me because I haven't had the texture before because I'm not get used to the texture so my sometimes sometimes my tongue feels very strange but it is a very good healthy breakfast menu so I'm trying to have a porridge at least once a week in terms of a snack daily snack for energy I try to bake my own snack with using oat I bake oat cookies every Wednesday or Thursday 
um, this is gluten-free I use only three ingredients it sounds like impossible but actually you can so I use one cup of oat one banana and a few pieces of dark chocolate dark chocolate can make skin smoother and lighten the red scar so it is much better than other chocolate When I want a little bit of sweeter flavor, then I use one spoon of honey instead of sugar. So currently I have Australian creamy style rolled oats and this is how much this package is left. I'm not a huge fan of creamy flavor so I'm looking forward to trying different style the third habit, keeping an eye out for local events. Our weekend routine has been very stressful about finding our first house, house inspection, and continuing my freelancing work. To have a different routine on weekends, I frequently check out what events are coming. Thankfully, we had a big festival in South Australia for about past nine days i was aware of the festival from 2019 and for the past two years it didn't happen because of covid 2019 i was living in south korea so i was so happy that i finally got to go there this year on the last saturday i went jogging early in the morning and then i did some of my freelancing work afternoon we spent the rest of the day in the festival so it was such a wonderful saturday routine even though i did not know i would get the bloody blister it is keeping the home office clean the primary benefit of keeping the workspace or study space clean is improved productivity i'm not good at remembering things to do or stuff i leave if there's a lot of mess around my studio nook or other rooms i can't find the stuff that i really really need to use at the moment and I end up forgetting and buying unnecessarily new supplies and I find the lowest stuff much later accidentally this can cause so much waste in terms of time and budget so that's why I try to keep my desk and storage look organized well and clean other rooms
I got this phone board two months ago to put some rough sketches from my current projects that I'm working on. Recently, I split some rooms to put sticky notes so I can remind myself of um, deadlines of which projects. The fifth habit, having daily break on my drawing schedule to avoid burnout. Even though having an art business and drawing all day are the ideal life that I've been dreaming for the longest time. To stay balanced, I try to have a proper break during the day, during the middle of the day, rather than sitting in the same spot all day. I have a one hour lunch break and then I go for a walk to take a sunshine. Finding blossom is my current joy. The spot planted by a lot of almond blossoms or cherry blossoms it really makes me so happy. That moment makes me feel like I'm away from my workspace. So I feel very fresh when I back to work. Specific to the island of Kenya. They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how To handle it all Additionally, I also have some uh, small time to practice drawing that is not really related to my art projects, any art project. I got this beautiful illustration book from a sort of souvenir store in an art gallery in Melbourne. I wanted to say how much I love this illustration book so much. So it is a mushroom picture book. So. There are only mushroom drawings from the first page to the end. So I use this book when I want to practice drawing mushrooms. I'm using this book as a reference book and the cover is so aesthetic so it makes me feel like I'm having a magical textbook. I'm trying to keep lately to live in a productive life. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful, lovely day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!